Hey Ed, yeah. What are you working on there? Uh, this is the harvest uh, marketing plan. Oh, marketing plan for the harvest group? Yeah. Really? Oh yeah, yeah. You know, we have to do this every year. Oh, is that what we're doing here? Well, we're at the GIC conference here, but I certainly want to take advantage of any downtime. That's you know, pretty smart. That, You're working we, pretty hard. Yeah, when we get together tonight for dinner, we can review it. What do you think? That's a great idea. Huh? That's a good plan. Need it. Need it. Well, this is head harvester Bill Arman, and you know what this topic's going to be about? You got it. Marketing. That's how, right. How to create a marketing plan. So let's talk about that a little bit. Do you have like four or five points you'd like to share with us? I do. You know what? I have them here. Imagine that. Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> right back over here? Right there, yeah. What, what, why say those be? Well, I'll tell you, um, the, there's main components to a marketing plan, which we're going to teach Harvester Bill here in just a second. Please okay. do. So one of them would be first to establish your goal. Most companies have a goal, so uh, I think a reasonable goal for a lot of companies in doing uh, landscape is 15 to, say, 25%. And then even within that goal, maybe identifying the market segments that yep. you'd like to accomplish. Maybe you want to be more uh, construction or more maintenance or more snow or whatever that is. Maybe it's irrigation in California because that's a big market that's going to be growing. It's not snow in California, that's for sure. We don't know what snow is. We don't <laughs> even have any rain anymore. That's right. Oh, so yeah, yeah, your that's... customer segment. Would yeah, be one one of the goals, right? Absolutely, and it, so that it's that type, and then also, you know, uh, like in Connecticut when I had my company, I found that I was actually making more money from a gross margin standpoint on industrial. So we chose that segment of the market to to go into, yeah. to, to grow. Maybe you know? even the size of the job might be part of it as well. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Try to get big jobs like that. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. So, so that, that's right. So size would be the other. So the first one would be goal, identify the segment, and then size. And then you'd want to do a SWOT analysis. SWOT? <laughs> you're going to SWOT them? Right, Who are you right. Who SWOT? That's strengths, strengths, weaknesses, opportunity, and threats. I have to add one more T to that. Go ahead. Trends. Okay. What are the market trends? So trends, double okay. T on that. So double SWAT. T. Got it. So you SWAT yourself as a company. Yes. And then who else should you SWAT? Your competitors. Oh, you bet. You want to SWAT them big time. Yeah. I'd probably pick, um, I would say find the five competitors in your market. SWAT them. The five best ones that you compete with on a regular basis. Yeah. Yeah, you bet. And as a suggestion, go to their websites, print out those websites, find the commonalities between them, find the gaps between them. Huh? And you want to make sure you idea. Different from those five. That's yes. the biggest thing that if the one takeaway yes. on this marketing thing is how to differentiate yourself and get away from those people. Yes, you that bet. that's one of the key areas they have to focus on, and then then you have to decide once you've got that figured out, you have to decide how you're going to reach them. If you're doing residential work, it's probably going to be direct mail. It could be uh, I like newspaper inserts, the eight and a half by eleven, four color print, both sides. That's very inexpensive and very effective, and please. I was talking to some fellows at the uh, Breakfast of Champions this morning on this subject, and, and one, one of the fellows said, well, I, I, I did that, I did that. I said, well, how many times did you send it out? He says, once. How many should it be? Oh, well, you've got to have at least three times, at least. Yeah, probably like five. At least, yeah. yeah. It's, it's got to be a campaign. Just okay. burn, you just burn your money oh, otherwise. That's the residential. How do you reach the commercial? Knocking. Knocking, knocking on, on doors, knocking on doors. Maybe yeah, attending their association meetings yes. and all sorts of things. And right? I, I like IFMA, International Facility Managers Association. Maybe BOMA, Building Very Owners Powerful. Management yes. Association. Right. BOMA's good too. Yeah. So that type of thing where you're, you're, you're breaking bread with those people. That's, that's where you're going to get to know them, build a relationship, and then they may, they'll, after a while they'll ask you to, to um, you know, uh, quote on their jobs. Yeah, doing pretty good so far. What's another yeah. one? Well, the... Um, so really the last one then is just establishing your budget okay you know and you'd want to do that last because you want to know what you're trying to accomplish how you're going to do it then you can set the money that's needed to do that and roughly what would that be what's a range of what we should budget I tell you what there's some there's some companies not spending any money at all because they have so much work in that market then others generally I would say between a half a point and a point and then I've got some very aggressive clients that are spending 5% of their total revenue yeah. on marketing. Yes, so 5%. So if you're a million dollar company spending $50,000 on marketing. I, I've got some clients doing that and they're growing ferociously. Wow. I mean, one, one client was spending 5% growing a million dollars a year. So that sounds all pretty good stuff for our marketing. That's it. That's some basic points. Those are good ones. Now yep. go out there and harvest your potential with a great marketing plan. This is Ed LaFont from the East Coast. 
Bill Arman from the West Coast. Now go out there and harvest your potential.